Hey guys, Dave here. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while, it's been a while, it's been a while. Uh, everybody's been asking me, hey Dave, what have you been up to, man? You know, I haven't seen any videos, haven't done anything lately. Um, you know, where you been, what's going on? Well, you know, I've had a couple projects I've been working on. Um, you know, getting some stuff together. Uh, and pretty much I thought, you know, after all of last year, after all the fishing done out of that, um, I decided to go ahead and upgrade my boat. Um, pretty much I just moved to a, uh, a deep V, you know, a nice uh, fishing ski and didn't want to spend too much money or anything like that. So I started looking around and uh, I was able to get into a nice boat, um, got a Maxim. Uh, as you can see, it's a you know nice, nice short 16 foot um, DV open bow. Uh, got a nice motor on it. Uh, well, you know, a Force 85. So I'll show you guys that. Um, pretty much just a nice package and got a truck to go with. It. So you know, it was just a real great deal. Couldn't pass it up. So you know, this is what I've been working on. Can't wait to get started. Know, rebuilding on it it's got some work that needs done on it but besides that um, you know um, I can't wait to get started on it but you know uh, it should tow it real good the truck um, it's a nice uh, 350 and uh, it's a, a 350 engine but a uh, 2500 so I'll show you guys that but I'm gonna go ahead and show you this truck here yeah, this, this boat first and we'll go ahead and get that done so I'm gonna show you guys this boat now. So, okay, so obviously it's a Maxim. Um, it's a 1989. Um, nice, nice, you know, nice boat, real, real nice, efficient ski. Um, it has a Force 85 motor on it. <laughs> I know, uh, you know, not everybody like Force 85s, you know, or Force motors, but um, it's a nice motor. Um, it's in real good condition. Uh, the owner pretty much kept it, you know, uh, in garage kept for the most part before, um, before the second owner. But um, it's in real con good condition. Um, you know, uh, the wires are not corroded or anything like that, so just got a little work to do on that. But in the boat, um, it's all sun dried out. It's got alligator skin going on. You know, that's just real bad. Um, but besides that, uh, you know, the uh, the 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 uh, the whole seats and everything needs to be replaced and, uh, and the uh, you know floor needs to be replaced um, just pretty much uh, patched in there or whatever but um, uh, just have to you know spot that and cut it and spot it in there but the whole front I'm gonna take uh, take the seats out of there and put a casting board it's all rotted out in there but um, on the but you know there's the seats come out and I'm gonna put a whole casting deck so I'll be able to sit up there, you know, or stand up and go ahead and cast all my lures out. A nice, a nice trailer in really good condition. Um, the the boat on the outside really pretty much has a nice uh, uh, smooth coat on it. But I'm gonna take all the seats out and put the casting deck up there. But I got a nice trolling motor, uh, Mancota. I'm gonna put on it, and um, it's a 40, 40, 40. Uh, 40 thrust, 40 inch prop, uh, you know, 40 inch shaft, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it. That should pull it just fine. Um, but pretty much, as you can see, it's got nice seats going back and forth. Um, I'm probably gonna end up changing it out and putting captain seats in there, uh, one on each side, so I have more room to, you know, uh, move around in the back. And uh, the steering throttle and the cables, all that stuff is in pretty good shape. Um, the council is, you know, needs a little bit of TLC, but I'm um, going to change it out and get a fish finder, uh, probably a, a side imaging uh, fish finder, going to do that, so that's, I'm gonna, that's my next project we're going, but get the floor in, um, gas tank is in really good shape, um, it goes in the floor, uh, windshield is in pretty good shape, it's just got some dust and everything like that, just needs to be cleaned out, and uh, Past the floor and I'll be pretty much good to go for you know all of that so um, just give it a good wax job on the outside paint the trailer and now you're pretty much good to go you know motor is in really good shape but um, that, that's that's one you know hopefully it's gonna run for me real good 
nice 85 horsepower. I got another one. But the second part of my project is this truck. Nice big pickup truck. It's a Chevy uh, 2500. Um, and uh, it's a nice crew cab, long, long, uh, long bed. So it's got some body work that needs done. Major body work. Uh, I'm probably going to end up replace, replacing the old bed. Um, and put one on there and um, you know I got a lot of stuff to do on it but it's just it's just basically cosmetic but this truck should pull it just fine um, it's got a lot of room in it I can uh, sit you know seat six people in there and uh, you got a nice 350 v8 in it runs real good starts right up um, so I'm you know excited about that it's a 80 88 model um, I think an 89 but uh, um, you know good bed I can sit the whole you know whatever I need to put in there you know, I can sit the whole thing in there um, nice 8 foot bed but it's got some major rust in there but um, you know uh, last guy pretty much you know whipped it so it's pretty whipped for that matter on the body but this thing just starts starts right up and uh, you know I really like it uh, got low miles on it but um, it's got a lot of room but, um, you know, it's pretty good so that's my projects for that I um, just need to get all this stuff all cleaned up and get it finished up um, and uh, I can't wait for it to get warm and uh, you know, get started on that but uh, that's pretty much it for this video so until uh, I get back to where you know I'll see you guys then uh, I'll give you some updates on it and you'll see me fishing out of it um, you know I just can't wait to get that all started up but I'll check you guys later Dave here Journey the Outdoors I'm out as I always say hunt hard hunt safe and eat well